obviously in you uh, in, in Houston's favor here. Looking at this, you know, UCF comes in off of a 77-71 huge upset for them against Texas Wednesday night. Houston smacked Texas Tech 77 to 54. Texas Tech was ranked 25th in the country at that point. Um, they won't be any more. However, still very good win for them. All time between these two teams, the series, Houston owns a 22 to 11 advantage. Digging in now to both of these teams, UCF, we mentioned their big win against Texas. Uh, you know, if you watch that game or you watch the highlights, it was kind of a big deal in the, uh, the, the handshake line after the game as the players at UCF were doing the uh, horns down and the coach, Rodney Terry, was not a fan of that, got into it with some of the UCF players. So, you know, in my opinion, I think that's going to be a kind of highlight point here for UCF. I think they're going to be kind of still riding the wave there. And I think uh, they're going to kind of kind of, come, kind of come into this one, you know, without that type of momentum, you know, kind of thinking that they had their big win of the season. They don't have, you know, they don't have a whole lot now to try to prove after that win. UCF, you know, they were down 55 to 40 with 1430 to play in that game before going on a big run and getting the, you know, getting the upset win. On the, on the year, they're averaging 74.7 points per game, which is 183rd in the country. They pull down 39.8 rebounds, which is really good, 46th, and uh, don't pass the ball great, only 12.4 assists per game. They are led by a few different guys. Uh, Jalen Sellers leads them. He's one of two guys in double figures. He averages 17.9 17 points per game. And then Darius Johnson averages 14.2 points per game. You got a bunch of other guys that are decent role players, but those are their two main guys. On the other side now, talking about Houston, you know, this is a team that once they got into conference, lost a few games, but they took advantage of their opportunity to really smack Texas Tech at home most recently. Uh, you know, they we talked about them, you know, beating uh, Texas Tech. They were really strong when it, uh, they started off the second half. They used a 13-0 run and, uh, you know, beat them pretty handily there. I mean, at Houston's just a very, very tough place to play. The last, whatever it's been, seven years that Sampson's been there, this team's been one of the best defensive teams in the country. Jamal Shade is a, I believe, senior. He seems like he's been there forever. He led them last game with 29 points and 10 assists. And uh, I really like the the uh, Baylor transfer that they have. LJ Cryer, he leads them in points at 15.2 points per game. We mentioned Sheed. He's averaging 11.2 and 6.2 assists per game. Houston shoots 44.6% from the floor as a team this season. Um, and they hit about eight three-pointers per game at about a 35% clip. They are one of the best, as I mentioned, defensive teams in the country, and that's why we're going to take them here. That's going to be our play. Minus 16 and a half, give us Houston here. We mentioned how good their defense is. They have yet to allow more than 55 points in a game at home this season. UCF is a stingy defensive team themselves. They're going to make Houston work on the – you know, offensive end, um, but UCF is just one and two on the road this season. They haven't had many tests and definitely have not had a test like this. You know, they think winning on the road is, you know, against Texas was a good win, which it is, but you're facing a whole other animal here when you talk about Houston. Against the spread here, um, UCF has also not been good. Uh, one and Three against the spread. They must have counted an extra game or not counted one there when looking at this other stat. But they have not been good away against the spread. Meanwhile, Houston at home, 7-2-1 and one against the spread. So we mentioned how good Houston is at home in general. They have always play incredible defense. And uh, UCF, I think they're just going to be kind of lazy coming out after the big win against Texas. They, they're going to be on their high horses thinking that they are, you know, they've done something. I think they're going to get smacked in the face here. I also do not mind, which I'm going to put put some money on, is a first half Houston. I think Houston comes out real strong here in the first half. I could see them being up by like 12 in the first half and kind of cruising to a 22-23 uh, point win. But 
Anyways, guys, that's going to wrap it up for us. That's our fourth and final play. It's going to be minus 16 and a half Houston at home against UCF. As always, I appreciate you guys watching. And just a reminder,